guys, welcome to another episode of Reclaiming Coventry with me, John, aka Old Man Suda, and it's the first day of the championship. We Coventry are in the championship in the third season, and as you can see, pre-season hasn't gone too bad. We, I, I'm overly happily with pre-season. It's gone pretty well. The rest of the pre-season hasn't, and I'll, I'll get through to that in a minute. Um. You'll see when I go through sort of some of the transfer stuff and everything like that that things haven't gone as well as we would like. But pre-season's gone all right. I think we've shown that we are a good team in a good position. I mean, the 4-1 win over Liverpool was absolutely fantastic. And yes, they probably wasn't playing every single big-name player, but they had likes of Danny Ings playing, uh, Michael Keane, um, James Miller, Milner. You know, so they had some reasonably decent. Daniel Sturridge came on, Flanagan came on, Moreira, Monero came on. It wasn't like they didn't have some of their bigger name, name players playing. So I think we could be really happy with the the, the score there. Um, it was a friendly, so they can't read loads into it. But yeah, overall, still happy. Uh, the Crystal Palace one, not so happy about. Uh, we just were terrible. Um, but what's new? it happens with us we, we're either good or we're terrible it's I've, I've worked out that's there's no middle ground with Coventry basically um yeah but apart from that things haven't gone fantastic as you can see we've lost a few players some of them went on a free I've loaned a few of the youngsters out and we lost Essien he couldn't sign well none of these would sign a new contract I tried my hardest Delevey went as well. Um, he wasn't really up to standard. He wasn't scoring goals for us. I mean, like last season, if I go to his history, he played 23 games. He scored five goals. The one before that, he played 26 and scored nine. It wasn't good enough. We needed more from him, really. Um, and he just wasn't producing it. Ryan Hayes, I would like to have kept Ryan Hayes, but he just... Couldn't keep him. We've got Giles Fee in that position and we've got Harris as well. So we had enough left backs that we couldn't. There's no point keeping him. This guy, I was umming and iron about. I tried to keep him, but we haven't really played him in the last few seasons, you can see. I mean, he played him at Wickham. Um, he just wasn't in our formation and I just couldn't find a place for him, unfortunately. So, yeah, he went. Carl Reed went as well. Um, the only sort of guy who went out on loan, Sam Bayern, he was a striker for us. And it's two stars. He's got the potential, but he's just, again, he's not... You look at him, he played 10 games for us. He only scored one goal. He's just not in a position at the moment. As you can see, uh, teams are coming in for a bigger manner. Uh, they're not offering enough at the moment for him. Um, but he most likely will leave. He wants to go. Um, and I sort of need him to go to bring some money in. Because this is the problem we've got. I've got the money in the transfer. I've got 140k. I haven't got the wages. And even if I take that 140k down, it doesn't give me a lot of wages still. I'll show you. Like, if I go like this, I can get up to 114, which still means we're going to be 5, 6k under the wage budget. Um, or over the wage budget even. And that's the issue I've got is I haven't, I've either got no transfer budget but I'm close to the wage like that. I'm still 6k under. And, you know, if I go to a contract status expired, I'm looking for a midfield right at the moment. You know, if I go through to my scouted guys, all the guys have scouted. So, you know, I'd really like to get, say, like Callum Robinson from Preston. Looks like a fan good player, young. Great stats would be great on the left for us, it looks like, report-wise. Yeah, no reason he wouldn't be a good player for us, looking at him. Um, with his stats and everything, he's quick and everything like that. If I try to offer him a contract offer, I can't offer him a contract. Ah, oh, he's out of team, that's why. Oh, I'm being an idiot. So if we go down to the zero players, let's find someone on here who's not in contract to have scouted. Who I think could be good for us. Who I want. Um, who can we t who can we look at? 
Right, this is David now. I'm a central midfielder. It looks alright, but I'm not going to get the wages. If you look at the wages he wants, he wants 1.4 to 1.9, and we haven't got that money. And we can't get work permit for him. So this is completely mute at the moment, really, about what I'm talking about, I guess. Um, so I've got to do a lot more. I'm looking for a senior affiliated club. I'm hoping to get a premiership side. We can get a couple of their players, and that will be really good. I'm looking on loans as well. But the problem I have with loans is... But I'd really like this guy from Sunderland. 22 year old. Plays attacking midfield. Play out on the right as well. Would be a really good player for us I think. Got good stats. Could be a really good player. If I make an offer to loan him. They want 100% of his wages. I can offer 10%. You know. Um, and I just haven't got that sort of money. So. It's really going to be difficult for us. I'm going to have to do a lot more scouting and a lot more looking around. We haven't got anything we can do about this at the moment. Cause we've got a game, literally, if I click that, we're into a game. So that's where we are with the transfers um, at the moment. And the reason we've only brought two guys in. I'll quickly go through these guys for you. The first guy we've got is Pablo Vaquez. Great looking defensive midfielder. For us, plays in an anchor man. I really wanted someone who was going to sit in that defensive midfield role, give them a lot of protection, not bomb forward or anything like that. And I think he'll do this. I don't think he'll be bombing forward. You look at his stats, and it's all about sort of defensive. He's marking, he's passing, he's tackling, his determination is really good, his decisions are really good. His physicals aren't too bad. He could do a bit more jumping and a bit more strength than that. But yeah, overall, I think. It'll be a really good player for us in that defensive midfield role. And I think it'll be a key role for us this season. Um, so that's it. We've got him in. We've got a striker in as well. As we are really struggling with strikers. So we've got Tyrese Campbell in. Looks like a fantastic young striker. Hopefully, he's only young. But hopefully he can do the job. I want to get one more striker in. Whether it's on loan or if it's a free or something like that. Once I sell Bringham Anna. Um, once I get like, I want 1.6 million for him. That should bring us some money in. It should bring some wages in. And we can maybe then look at getting some players. But I am really struggling. So I will now say that if you watch these videos. And you've got any idea of what I can do. To really solve this problem. Then please do. Because the finances side of it. Is probably been one of the toughest parts of this save. You know. We always seem to have about a million pounds. And maybe it's because we've been in the lower leagues. But if I can. You know. This season's goal is to stay in the championship i don't care whether we finish you know 23rd is it or whatever 21st we can finish 21st i don't care as long as we stay in the championship so maybe if we stay in the championship that will we'll start bringing money in with sponsorships and tv revenue and all that sort of stuff and then we can start cracking on buying players and start moving our way up i think we're going to be in this league for a couple of seasons uh at least maybe two maybe even more um I, I'm quite happy with that for two or three seasons and then hopefully we are fighting up here but to, this season's goal is just basically to finish 21st or better that's all I care about it just does mean at the moment we've got a really small squad we do need at least three or four players maybe even five until I can sort the finances out and get probably get Brigham Anna sold I don't think we're going to you can see here, there's a lot of teams do want him Millwall and a lot of um, other teams are probably, I mean, I'm going to offer him out because we need to sell him. He's the player who can get us most. I'm going to try and get 1.7 for him. If I can get 1.7, that's fantastic. We only get about 35, 40% of that back from the club. But that will give us a couple hundred K and hopefully then, and it will free up some wages. Because I think he's on one of the highest wages. He's on, yeah, he's on over 10K. It's difficult because he's one of our best players, but we are still a young squad, so we have got a lot to grow as well. Like I said, if we can get four, maybe five players, I think we'll be all right. We've got a couple of injuries as well, which isn't helping. Um, but we just we haven't got anyone in the twenty threes who can really come up at the moment. Under eighteens, again, we haven't got many players that can come up. We've got a couple of two, two and a half stars, but I'm more trying to get these guys out on loan to give them games because I don't think they're going to be game people to play for us week in week out not at one and a half two stars 
maybe next season some of these can start moving up. Um, that's the, hopefully the plan. Um, so like these three guys, I really want them to crack on and build, but it's been really hard for us. But we are going to offer them to clubs for loan, and hopefully we can get them out, and that will help out a lot. But that's pretty much where we are. I mean, another guy here, defensive right, Julian Barton. He's only 16. He's going to be a fantastic player if he reaches all that potential. But I can't do anything with him at the moment because, you know, I can't. I don't think I can take him and put him out on loan. No, I can't. I can't put him out on loan at the moment because he's only 16. But what can we do? There's nothing we can do about it at the moment. We can All we can do is crack on with what we've got. And hopefully by the next episode, I've got a couple more players in and things will be a lot better for us. But anyway, we have got a game today. And it's against Barnsley. First game of the season. If we can get a draw, I'll be ecstatic. That is the goal for us, as you'll see. This is the team we're going to play. It's not quite dissimilar to our usual team. We've changed the formation a little bit. Um, more because of player injuries. And I feel we need more in the central midfield than we do up front. It's more about probably getting draws than it is about actually winning these games we need to win games but we also need to make sure that we don't concede too much so it's the usual back four of cook giles three turnbull wheels and packwood new guy vaquez is coming in his defensive midfield role brigham Anna, vlad and mcgradles are in our central midfield jones and then new guy campbell up front on the bench we've got vickers harris rose quain thomas the young striker Alex Davey as a young centre-back. And that's all we've got. We've got two positions we can't fill at the moment, unfortunately. And George Thomas is injured for another few weeks, so I can't even play him. And to be honest, these guys have got slight knocks for the next few days, so we're probably not even going to be playing them. Really, we've only got two subs. Three, maybe, if we bring on... Oh, I tell you who I haven't brought on. He's Andrew, Andrew Croft. I forgot to move him back into the senior squad. I wasn't going to play him this season, but we need him, so <laughs> I'm going to have to now. Um, and that's pretty much where we are, guys. So we'll get into the game, and yeah, this has been such a struggle. Um, I've spent hours. I've actually spent. I spent two nights going through transfers, trying to sort stuff out, and try not to lose players. And maybe that's my problem: is I I shouldn't have tried to. Um, I shouldn't have tried to, like, keep all my players. I should have maybe said, well, yeah, we're, you know, we're going to get that sort of money for Brigham Manor. Maybe we should have sold when they offered 1.4, 1.5 million. And I was like, no, we can get 2 million for him and that sort of stuff. So I think that's maybe where I've slightly gone wrong. As we do come forward and Barnsley have had a red card, which obviously helps us out massively. And this could mean that we have got a chance of winning this game. Um... But yeah, and it looks like we've got a player injured now as well. So we're um we're really going to war with them at the moment. As they come forward, but it's a ambitious cross and doesn't go anywhere. Um so yeah, it's been I don't maybe that's where I went wrong a little bit. Um maybe I've messed up a little bit, but I think we can, we can do all right still. I I've, I've still got confidence that we can stay in this league this season. Um and I have no reason to believe we can't. And especially if, well, as I said, if we can get at least three or four players in after maybe selling one or one, I think we've got a really good chance. Um, we're going to say go out there and give these fans some money's worth again. And that's pretty much it, guys. I don't really know what else to talk about. It's um, I'd love to hear what other people who've had maybe similar sort of situations, you know, what they have done and how they go. Cause, when you're in the championship and your team's like, I say, if you're Aston Villa or something starting the championship, or if you're in the premiership, you've got money to spend because you've got the TV money and everything like that. And time has just gone fleeting past. We're into 86 minutes. I didn't expect it to go through that fast. We're going to bring Crofts on. Um, and that's all we can do, really. There's not much else we can do. Um, how long throws is... No, we can't really bring anyone else on. We're just going to have to go with that and be happy maybe with a draw. But yeah, I'd love to hear what other people's experiences are with sort of taking over a League 1 or a League 2 team and bringing them up into this sort of position. 
um, because I'm finding it a real struggle. Last few seasons, it's been difficult, but we've managed to get by. Uh, this season, I have found it really hard, I must admit. And we're going to say calmly. I'm happy with performance. Um, yeah, and I've really struggled, like I said, and it's been really difficult. So I'd love to hear what your guys, um, what your guys sort of views are on it, and where you think we could, how we could do better, because it's been really difficult. So this Hartlepool want Joe Jody Peak. I'm happy for him to go, even without him, because I want him to get games basically to improve. Um, yes, like I said, I won't. I'd love to hear more from you guys, really, about that. But that's pretty much it, guys. That's the end of the episode here. I mean, obviously, drop me a like, subscribe, come and see me on Twitter, all the usual. Um, it'd be great to hear from people. Great to sort of hear your views on everything. Uh, we'll probably come back for when will we come back? We'll come back for the Walsall and no, I don't know. We've played Walsall quite a few times. We'll come back for the QPR and Sunderland games. Um, how long have we got until the transfer? Is the transfer finish then, is it? Is there any way we can see when the transfer window finishes? Uh, where is it? Is it in the calendar? Uh, let me see if we go through here. When does the transfer window finish? We'll do a transfer special then. Does it say transfer finishes on the 31st? So, what teams have we got around the 31st? It's the Walsall game, which I didn't really want to bring. All right, guys, we'll bring the Walsall and QPR games, um, and we'll hopefully then have some news about transfers. We'll sort of see how we're getting on in the league by then as well. It'll be give us a good point, and we've got some big games coming up, so I'll bring quite a few of these big games. The likes of things like Aston Villa and Middlesbrough, um, Leeds, you know, I'll try and bring some of these games. Everton's going to be a huge game because it's Everton and it'll be really good to play them. Uh, same as like sort of Wolves and that. So, yeah, as I said, guys, that's the end of the episode. We'll come back for the Walsall QPR game. As always, it's been an absolute pleasure and I will see you next episode.